Hi guys, welcome to C Inter Financial Management MCQs. We are going to be doing every possible MCQ from the module and then our own MCQs. Our regular courses link is there in the description in case you wish to be enrolling and request you all to be joining our Telegram channel for all the updates that will be there. Okay, so let's start it off. So today's question is all about cost of capital. So let's see whatever is the question today. Given risk-free rate of return is 5%, okay, that is called as IRF in terms of symbols. Further, market return, that is RM, 10%. Cost of equity, that is 15%. But a cost of equity in CAPM formula, I guess, is going to be called as KE. Then, value of the beta factor is, bring me the four options, 1.9, okay, 1.8, then 2, and then 2.2. So request you all that pick up your calces. Okay, you compute it and put the answer in the comment section below. Okay, so your time is over now. Now, first of all, the formula that is there under CAPM model. Okay. Now, <clears throat> CAPM formula is like this k e is equal to irf plus rm minus irf into the beta factor everybody is aware obviously what do you mean by beta factor that you have to find out in this question beta factor is nothing but in technical words it is regression coefficient between the risk of the company and the risk of the markets okay but then risk and returns are perfectly correlated so therefore if risk will be twice we want twice the return also in our previous MCQ, we all have discussed complete uh, CAPM logic, okay. But something like this in reference to this question, think that IRF, IRF was there in the question with us. What do you mean by IRF? It is interest on risk-free securities. That is the return that you would have got from anywhere, okay. Say that by investing in the government bonds, whereby there is no risk. Tomorrow, whatever might happen, stock markets might crash, you will still get your returns here. That much return you can be getting anywhere. But then you wanted something extra. We are greedy people. So therefore, you thought I'll go and invest in the stock exchange. Stock exchanges give us more return here. So therefore, in that case, the returns that the stock exchanges will be giving, that'll be nothing but RM. You wanted something extra. How much extra you wanted? That'll be nothing but RM minus IRF. That's also called as market premium, by the way. And then you multiply that thing by beta factor. So why do we multiply? See, beta factor says that, suppose if beta factor is uh, 1.5, what does that mean? That risk in the shares of that company is 1.5 times that of the market. So then you will want 1.5 times the return also. So therefore, IRF you would have got anywhere. Okay, but I wanted something extra. That something extra is RM minus IRF multiplied by the beta factor as such. Now, let's put on the numbers from this question. IRF, I guess, was 5%. Okay, plus RM in this case was 10% minus 5% into the beta factor. This has to be equal to return expected by the shareholder. Return expected by the shareholder is nothing but KE over here. That's it. So, therefore, you solve this entire thing. I guess, first of all, 5 will be shifting there. So, therefore, 10 is equal to. 5 into beta factor. So, beta factor should be equal to 2. So, out of all the answers, okay, ultimately C is going to be your correct answer. So, therefore, answer should be C. Yeah, that's the correct answer. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Take care.